Hello kids, welcome back. In today's class, let us learn about place value system of four digit numbers. Hope you have watched my previous videos and understood about two digit and three digit numbers. Now tell me if I add one to 999, what will be the next number? Yes, you are right. It's 1000. Now what can we observe? Till 999, it was 3 digit number and 1000 is 4 digit number. Which means one more place value has been increased. Remember 1000 is the smallest 4 digit number and the greatest 4 digit number is yes, 9999. Next, let us learn about place value of four digit numbers. The place value chart is separated into three groups and it's called periods. The first period is called one period. Under one period, there will be three place, places that is ones, tens and Hundreds and the one spirit there will be three place values that is ones, tens and hundreds. So here first three digit will be written under ones, tens and hundreds column. Next is thousand spirit and a thousand spirit there will be two places that is thousands and ten thousands. After three digits, fourth and fifth digit will be written under thousand and ten thousands place. So after writing three digit number, we have to move to thousands place, correct? And we have to use comma to separate thousand spirit. We, we use comma to separate thousand spirit and one spirit. So observe the pattern here. Under 1's period, 1's place value, 10's place value and 100's place value comes under 1's period. 1000's place value and 10,000 place value comes under 1000's period. So, they should be comma to separate 1's period and 1000's period. Now, we will understand how to write numbers in place value chart according to their place values. See example 5432. What is the place value of 2? Two? 2 ones. So it is written under ones column. What is the place value of 3? Three? 3 tens. So it is written under tens column. What is the place value of 4? Hundreds. So it is written under hundreds column. What is the place value of 5? Thousands. So 5 is written under thousands column. This is how we write the numbers according to their place values in the place value chart. Next let us learn to uh, write numbers in expanded form. When each digit of a number is written with its place value it is called the expanded form of that number. Correct? Example 3248. What is the place value of 8? Eight? 8 ones. What is the place value of 4? Four? 4 tenths. What is the place value of 2? 2 hundreds. What is the place value of 3? 3 thousands. So 3248. Look at one more example 8472. So, 8,000 plus 400 plus 7, 7 tens plus 2 ones, which is equals to 8,000 plus 400 plus 70 plus 2. It's the expanded form of the given number. Next, comparing numbers. Comparing numbers means to find out among the given numbers which number is greater and smaller than the other. For example, if two chocolates are given to you and five chocolates are given to your friend, you will obviously compare no compare and tell who has got more. Correct? You will guess that your friend has got more chocolates than you. 
isn't it so just finding out uh, the greater number and lesser number is nothing but comparing numbers and also remember the symbols used to indicate greater than or smaller than if it is smaller than you remember the crocodile mouth yes it will always be open for the greater number so whichever side is the greater number that side the sign should be crocodile mouth open side should be so uh, should be uh, shown towards the greater number understood let us look at an example here is the question the distance uh, from place x to y is 3500 km long and from place a to b is 867 km long which distance is longer can you tell me yes from x to y because it is 3500 and also 3500 is four digit number 867 is three digit number the more number of digits the greater is the number which means if the number of digits are more than the other number means it will be the greater number so here we can easily compare and say 3500 is greater than 867 let us look at an another example in last christmas 2657 candles were sold and this year 2616 candles were sold in which year more candles were sold observe here here the hundreds place and the thousands place the numbers are same so in order to compare the two numbers with the same number of digits start comparing digits from the left side here both are four digit numbers so we'll have to compare and we have to start comparing from left side of the digit so when we start comparing from the left side it is 2 and 2 in both the numbers in thousands place and in hundreds place also 6 and 6 is there so at this stage we cannot say which number is greater or which number is lesser so we have to again continue comparing let's move to tens place here in tens place which is marked in green color in first number it is 5 and in second number it's 1 so we know 5 is greater than 1 that means we can easily compare and say that 2657 is greater than 2616 If you don't find here also in the tens place, you have to move to ones place. If the both the numbers are same, that means it is equal number. Next, let us solve the worksheet of four-digit numbers. Write the following numbers in the expanded form. Yes. What is the expanded form of six thousand seven hundred eighty nine? Yes, six thousand plus seven hundred plus eighty plus nine. What is the expanded form of nine thousand one hundred and fifty six? Nine thousand plus hundred plus fifty plus six. What is the expanded form of three thousand eight hundred ninety one? Three thousand eight hundred plus Ninety plus one. What is the expanded form of nine thousand five hundred and sixteen? Nine thousand plus five hundred plus ten plus six is the expanded form of nine thousand five hundred and sixteen. Next, write the number for the given expanded form. First one is done for you. here the numbers are given in expanded form according to their place values we have to write it in the short form yes so first one is done second one 6000 plus 500 plus 90 plus 7 which means 6597 next one 3000 plus 200 plus 70 plus 4 which means 3274 Next, four thousand five hundred plus four hundred plus eighty plus nine, which means four thousand eight hundred. Next, four thousand five hundred plus four hundred plus eighty plus nine, which means four thousand eight hundred. Next, four thousand five hundred plus four hundred plus eighty
5000 plus 600 plus 20 plus 2 which means 5622 and the last one 7000 plus 80 plus 5. Here 7000 means it's the fourth digit and 80 means 8 tenths which is equals to 80 correct. So we can't write 785 it will become 785. So what do we have to do there is nothing at hundreds place. So we have to mention 0 which indicates hundreds place. We can't skip hundreds place and write 7 at hundreds place. If we read it will be become like uh, 785. Right? So 0 needs to be mentioned at hundreds place. So if you mention 0 at hundreds place it becomes 7085. Next circle the greater number. Yes, when you compare 9999 with 5634, you start comparing from left side. So, at the left side, in first number it's 9 and in second number it's 5. So, you can easily say 9999 is greater than 5634. Second number, 5345. And 3355. Here also when you compare from the left side. In the first number it's 5 and in the second number it's 3. So 5 is greater than 3. Next 2445 and 9643. Here also when you compare from the left side. In the thousands place it's 2 and 9. So we can easily say 9 is greater than 2. In the fourth one. Again, it's 6,534 and 8,543. So, when we start comparing only, we can say 8 is greater than 6. So, 8,543 is greater than 6,534. Next, put the proper sign. You have to use greater sign, lesser sign or equal sign. Compare and put the sign. Here when we start comparing the first number that is 7654 and 6543 we, st we will start comparing from the left side which means thousands place. Here in thousands place in first number it is 7 and in second number it is 6. So 6 is smaller than 7 correct. So 7654 is greater than 6543. Second number it's 0, 1. 0, 0. What does it mean here? It's just even though it's given as 4 digit number, it is 3 digit number only because 0 before a number will not have any value. The value of this number will be 100. And in second number it is 0, 0, 1, 0. Two zeros before a number also will not have any value. That means it's just 10. So when you compare between 100 and 10, 10 is smaller than 100. Correct? Next is 889 and 3235. Here we are comparing between 3 digits and 4 digit number. As we know 4 digit number will be greater than 3 digit number. So we can say 3235 is, is greater than 889. Last number it is 2453 and 2453 which means both the numbers are equal. So we will have to use here equal sign.